Hi everybody, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with another four box break of 2021 Upper Deck Goodwin Champions Random Letter Break number two. First name, first letter. First name, first letter. There are all the letters right there. There's a all other letters spot, of course. And there are a lot of non-human cards in there. It could be maps, coins, animals, ships, vehicles, space shuttle stuff, space stuff, uh, land stuff, who knows. They're all gonna be randomized as one lot to one person in the break, even if they're relics, even if they're numbered. So just FYI on that. There was no objections to that, especially from this crew right here. So thanks for joining. There are the letters right here. Let's do it. Let's roll it. Randomize names and letters. Three and a two, five times each. One, two, three, four, and five. After five times, we got Brian down to Jeremy. Three and a two, five times for the letters. One, two, three, four, and five. First letter, first name. T down to all other letters. All right, so Brian with T, Michael with R, Jimmy, V, W, Z, Michael with A, Jimmy with S, Brian with K and L, uh, Michael with N, Josh with P, Brian with C and M, Aaron with D, Michael with J, and Jeremy, all other letters. Let's sort by a letter. And we're going to pause the video. When we come back, we're going to see if there's any trades. Then we'll have the break. Stick around. BRB. All right. Welcome back, boys and girls. No deals done. Here's the final printout, hot off the presses. Thank you, thanks for hanging with me on a Wednesday. I might be able to get through the day without changing the toner. Let's see how, let's see how long we can go. Um, remember, I marked those two, that's a two, not a Z. So we know that they're from the same inner case. Break three from a fresh inner case will be coming up a little bit later tonight. Uh, check the schedule, we got, we're kind of kind of packed today. So just be sure to check the schedule to see where your break is going to be. It's all LA times. If you're on the East Coast, add three hours. If you're in Hawaii, I think you subtract three hours. No base cards ship, and there's a lot of base cards. So it's really only inserts, numbered cards, hits, little shit. And we'll do the, the randomizer for the non-human cards at the, uh, at the end of this video. One person will get all the non-human cards. Coins, animals, vehicles. I think there are stamps, but I think the stamps will, they, they have, for the stamps, I think we're gonna send them to the, to the human depicted on the stamp. Uh, cross that bridge when we get there, but it'll make sense. So good luck. There's Morikawa. Let's see how he does the Masters. And there's Carlos Colmenares. I like these lenticulars, these 3D lenticulars. Looks like we have a bird coming up here. What kind of bird is that? Splash of color for letter C, Brian Croft with C. And here is a stork. Feathered creatures stork. Nice. There is much debate as to why storks deliver babies in popular fiction and folklore worldwide. One theory is their white feathers are a symbol of purity and childbearing. Well, another popular view is that human observers found their uh, monogamous looking relationships relatable. I did not realize that storks were monogamous. Just like certain penguins, certain wolves maybe. 
and uh, puffins. I want to say that's part of the non-human group. There, we'll set those aside over there. First autograph out of this box is Melissa Humana Paredes, volleyball player, letter M, Brian. I think the autos are relatively rare. They're not. They're not one per box. We can make a decent poker hand out of these cards here. And we have Mojave King, 162 out of 299. High school basketball player. For future star, maybe? Brian Croft with that one. And we've got a. Queen and a seven, off suited, and a four, and a six, maybe a straight. No, then we're hit with a king. So I just can't wait. Hey, Rex, look at this. Your name's right there. So I just can't wait to be king. Got a pair of sevens. Got Teofimo Lopez. And that is that. Pair of sevens, I think that's our best hand right there. Sevens. All right, next box. two hits per box, and I guess they consider those 3D lenticulars a hit. It says at least two hits per box from autographs, memorabilia, relics, manufactured patches, or 3D lenticulars on average. This is a parallel we haven't seen just yet. There's Joanna again, 15 out of 23 this time. Nice low number there for letter J. That is Michael with J. And then we've got a non-human here. It's a uh, world traveler map relic, Taipei. Piece of the map. As we were saying earlier, we do not know if these are travel use or not, travel use maps. No indication of that. I haven't been to Taipei. I think Nick Jaspi has. I'd like to, I'd like to visit there someday. I gotta get, I gotta renew my passport 
There's a uh, Mike Mencius Gaudi autograph, who I believe is uh, I looked this up earlier is uh, LeBron James's trainer. One of many, I would think, but it's maybe maybe the main guy, Brian with the letter M. Trying to make some poker hands here with those cards. So right now we're working on three pair right here. Here's the flop. Not sure if we're gonna get another two. Oh, we are gonna get another two cards. There's a four, turn. There's Jason uh, Isbell. Looks like a a pair of threes for us. All right. Second box, halfway through this four box break. There it is, there's the lid. This 14 years and up. Uh, is this for slightly more mature audiences? I think most other sports trading cards are like seven and up, nine and up. Onwards. Oh, an ace, that's nice. Ace There's uh, Jean uh, Montero, 282 out of 299. Jean, Jean, 
That'll go to J. That'll be for Michael. And we've got Joanna again with the last name that I'm having trouble pronouncing. That'll be for Michael, letter J. And we got a Red Gerard, 14 out of 65. Two color relic. Maybe a piece of his snowboarding gear there. Going to letter R, Michael, with the letter R. High card ace right now, ladies and gentlemen. I think that's it for us. Unless another ace pops. No, not in this box. All right, final box, ladies and gentlemen. Good luck. All right, fourth and final box, good luck. Looks like a relic in here, ooh, a coin? See what year that coin is from. That'll be if that coin is a non-human spot, so everyone has a chance at getting randomized that, along with the uh, the poker cards. Lexi Thompson, and we've got Saith Tigala, 53 out of 299, letter S. That's going to be for Jimmy. Jalen Green, Relic. That'll be for Michael and Jay. And the coin is Relics Currency, a 1942 Washington quarter. Doesn't that look kind of small? Nice. A quarter going to somebody. Two king offsuit. Looks like he's going to play. Let's 
see how many rounds he can get in. It's a, it's a weird plot. Got a two out there. So I guess we're working with a pair of twos here. King high. And it looks like that, my friends, is that. Oliver, what's going on? All right, so I guess a pair of twos. All right, now let's see who's gonna get this little stack of non-human cards here. So let's flip back to the list. Do I have a new dice, new list? I do. Let's gather all the names here in break number two. And let's roll it and randomize it. Two and a five, seven times. Name on top gets those non-human cards. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seventh and final time. After seven, Josh Proust. There you go, Josh. You've got the non-human cards going your way. There you go, gang. Some playing cards, a quarter piece of a map, and a stork. There you have it, Josh. There you go, everybody. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with us. I'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.